When I was getting close to hitting 50K followers on TikTok, I knew I had to do something kind of fun and cool to just celebrate this milestone. So what I ended up doing is letting my followers pick out my next grip tape. And in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different than my usual videos, and I'm gonna walk you through the process that we went through to create the Dino Nuggets grip tape. And if you stick around to the end, you could figure out how you could be the proud owner of said grip tape. So how did we cook up this delicious design? This all started back in June of 2020, and even though that was only two months ago, it doesn't even seem like that because quarantine time makes it so time doesn't exist at all. And I noticed on my TikTok page, I was getting really close to hitting 50,000 followers, and I wanted to plan out something to do kind of fun. And so while I was doing some Googling, I figured out that you could actually order custom grip tape through CCS. And so that got me thinking that I should just let people pick what my grip tape should be. I'll be honest though, I was a little nervous when I first started coming up with this idea though because I thought for sure that someone was gonna take advantage of it and post something that was, you know, wildly offensive or stupid and then I would have to either shut down the video completely or I was gonna have to publicly put this on my skateboard and have everyone to see it. So I decided to make myself a set of rules so that hopefully this wouldn't happen. I need your help. I'll be switching out to a new skateboard deck very soon and to celebrate hitting 50k followers, I want you to choose what goes on my grip tape. Here are the rules. Whatever is the most liked comment on this video at the end of July 18th will be what goes on my grip tape. However, if it is anything that I find offensive or can be offensive, I will move on to the next most liked comment. It can be whatever you want. It can be a drawing, it can be a quote, it can even just be a word. Whatever it is, I'll get it on my grip tape somehow. And even after I created the video, I kind of sat on the idea for another day or two to make sure that I really wanted to do this before I pushed it out into the world. And ultimately I decided that if the top comment was something wild and crazy after the first hour or two, I would just delete the video, pretend nothing ever happened. So once the video was posted, I originally thought that I would just do the design on you know, some free website or try to do it in Illustrator. I have some skills in that, but not not enough to probably make it look good. But one of my good friends, Paul Meyer, is an amazing graphic designer. And so I decided to reach out to him to see if he'd be willing to help me out. When Paul and I finally had time to meet, the Dino Nuggets comment was already winning by a landslide, so it was pretty obvious that that one was probably going to win. So we started planning to design a grip tape based off those Dino Nuggets. I had some ideas, but to be honest, it was just kind of scattered in my mind. I didn't have really a good way to kind of collect them. And luckily Paul is amazing at that. So he was able to take the jumbled ideas I had and decide to start making something amazing. And because I didn't do the design, I can't walk you through the process of what we did to, to make that design a reality. So I'm gonna let Paul take it from here for a couple minutes. Thanks Zach, and hello everybody, Paul Meyer here. I'm going to walk you through the design process for the Nug Script Tape, um, which first starts with field research. So I went to the store and picked up a pack of premium dino nuggets to take home and check out. Once I got home, I fired up my toaster oven and tossed a few of those bad boys in, um, but I did notice that they only had three varieties of the nuggets, so later on I would have to do a little bit more research to find different shapes and have a little bit better variety on the grip tape. Um, simultaneously, I also set up a little tiny photography studio um, on my desk with little white backdrops so that I could photograph these nuggets once they were done. From there, I let the nuggets cool down and then I ended up hanging them from a wire on a tripod in front of this backdrop so that I could get some clean photos of them um, without anything else around. I took a bunch of different photos from different angles and then ended up bringing them into Photoshop and kind of cleaning up and removing that wire so that I would have nice reference photos to work from when I ended up drawing them, which was next. So once I had those clean photos, I ended up firing up my iPad and pulling them into a single file. I ended up tracing those so that I could get the general shape of each nugget. Um, but what that really allowed me to do was duplicate those different layers and move them around so I could figure out what sort of layout that I would have for the script tape. Once I had that general layout, I started adding other elements like the ketchup running through and then the little uh, Zach Padilla and little victories call out. Um, and then from there, I started inking, which is the next part of the process. 
but this is where each individual nugget got inked differently. So each nugget on the grip tape is uh, unique. Um, from there, I ended up coloring them in and just kind of figuring out some different lighting effects so that it would really make those nuggets kind of stand out um, against that ketchup. Lastly, I put it all together in Adobe Illustrator, laying the text graphics over the uh, illustration and then getting those files ready for print. And then I sent them over to Mr. Zachary and bada bing, bada boom, we got some grip tape on the way. Now once Paul sent me the design, it was time to order it through CCS, so I literally did it the same day he sent me over the designs. And it's kind of funny, this is just kind of a funny t side tangent, I guess, but when we ordered the grip tape, I checked the website a couple days later and they were completely sold out of the custom grip tape. So I don't know if that's a thing that they no longer do and I just happen to slip in the crack at the last right time or if they just were currently out of the grip tape they use for custom grip tape jobs. But either way, that was a close one because I would have had to do a whole nother batch of research to figure out who else can make custom grip tape. So thank you CCS for letting me get my custom grip tape in there before you shut that down. I've ordered stuff from CCS plenty of times and they're usually very quick with shipping things. But this time, it, it took them a little bit longer but I assumed it was because it was a custom job. Not, not to mention COVID stuff has probably delayed everything. And so I made an update video saying, hey, this grip tape's gonna take a little bit longer because I still haven't received a shipping notification. I literally posted that video and within 10 minutes got a email from CCS saying, we shipped your order. I've ordered a custom skateboard a long time ago, but I've never ordered any custom grip tape. So I was a little anxious to see how this would work. So once I got the email that it was shipped, it was super quick. And when I finally got it and opened it, I was relieved because it looked amazing. I mean, it was it's, it's stunning how gorgeous it looked. And it's designed on top of Jessup Grip Tape, which is a fantastic grip tape company. So I knew that the quality was still gonna be there. I was just afraid that maybe the art might get a little lost in translation, but it was stunning. Now I could walk you through the whole process of applying grip tape, but that would that's for a separate video where I'm gonna actually teach you how to apply grip tape, which is coming soon, so just stay tuned. So it went on just like every other grip tape would go on. It looked fantastic, it was beautiful. And if you're wondering, yes, this is my current setup and the custom grip tape, I would highly recommend if you ever get a chance to use custom grip tape because it works exactly the same as regular grip tape, but you get that cool art design. And speaking of custom grip tape, I've had a lot of people request to buy the Dino Nuggets grip tape. And I'm excited to announce that right now we're currently in the process of figuring out how to sell them, but they have been ordered. So there's actually a link in the description where you can actually sign up to get notified the second that these Dino Nuggets grip tapes are available for sale. I'd recommend signing up for that because this first run is gonna be very limited and if they sell out quick enough, we'll order more. But this first run is gonna be super, super limited. I mean like very limited. So get in there, sign up if you really want one. And then the second you get notified, I'd recommend doing whatever you can to get one purchased. And finally, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching all my videos I sincerely appreciate it it blows my mind that even 10 people are willing to want to watch one of these things so thank you it means a lot and finally I know I kind of ghosted this YouTube channel for a little bit but I'm planning to go back to making weekly videos soon so please in the comments let me know what kind of videos you want to see next and I'll start making the to-do list and kind of start knocking them out again thank you for watching this video and as always have fun good luck and keep shredding the gnar